What up YouTube, hope you're all doing well. Today, we're going to make an amazingly delicious and juicy burger that's really easy to make. And with that, we're going to make our own burger sauce from scratch. So, you know the drill. Without further ado, let's get cracking. To start things off, we're going to make our burger sauce. So to 8 tablespoons of mayo, add 1 tablespoon of very finely chopped gherkins or relish. Follow that up with 1 tablespoon of the pickle juice, 2 teaspoons of ketchup, 2.5 teaspoons of Dijon mustard. Now you can also use English mustard for more of a kick or plain yellow mustard for a milder taste. Along with that, add one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of onion powder, and one teaspoon of garlic powder. Give that all a mix and your burger sauce is done. Make sure to pop your burger sauce in the fridge for about an hour to make sure all those flavors combine properly. Now for the best bit, time to make our burgers. Here I used 1 kilo of 20% fat beef mince. The more leaner the meat that you're using, the less flavorful and the less juicy it will become. To the mince, I added less than a tablespoon of salt, a generous amount of black pepper, about one and a half tablespoons, one tablespoon of garlic powder, and one tablespoon of onion powder. Now, when mixing all of this, let it run through your fingers and try to avoid mashing anything up. Remember, what we're aiming is not a slab of meat. What we're aiming is for a juicy burger patty. This way of mixing and forming our patties allows us to create pockets filled with juice when we're cooking our burgers. Initially, divide the mixture into six large meatballs and then form patties about one and a half centimeter thick. Now for the best bit, cooking our burgers. Here, I'm using a griddle pan. This allows for a larger surface area. It also prevents the burger from shrinking. But of course, the humble frying pan will do. Whilst cooking the burger, of course, toast those buns that we made earlier. This, obviously, is optional. A great alternative I found is turkey bacon, which works just as well. Give a couple of minutes before you flip your burger around. And when you do, add a slice of cheese. Here, I'm using Gouda, but of course, feel free to use any type of cheese you prefer. Personally, I feel blue cheese is just as amazing as well as the processed type cheese. Once that's done, it's time to build our burger. To the base of the bun, add a good dollop of our burger sauce, some shredded lettuce, a few slices of tomato, along with our burger patty, add the bacon, a few slices of gherkin, and to finish off, the top of our burger bun. And obviously, serve with fries, plenty of it. And now, it's time for the moment of truth. Let's slice this bad boy up. Look at that, look how soft and fluffy our burger buns are.
and that burger is dripping with juices. And believe me, it's amazingly delicious. I hope you all enjoyed this burger episode. Next time, we're going to make use of our burger buns again to create a burger influence from Japan. In the meantime, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all around next time. Peace.